Hello, and welcome to another episode of Eat on TV, baby. In today's show, I'd like to talk about Tiger Woods and the speech that he made earlier today to the American population. Now, a lot of people are kind of torn on what Tiger Woods should have done, but I want to give you my opinion on my take. Personally, I think to save face with his endorsers in terms of getting that endorsement money back that he lost, not that he needs it, the guy's probably like a billionaire already, but in order to save face with the endorsers that are staying with him, I felt that he needed to come out and say something to the American public so they could have faith again to buy his products. On the other hand, if he didn't care about the endorsement money and he just wanted to live off of what he's already made, he didn't have to do anything because this whole topic, this whole conversation is something that's private and is a matter that should only be talked about between three people, Tiger, his wife, and the counselor. That's it. But this is all political and was all driven to save face with the American community. So let me give you my thoughts. Um, initially, I didn't think that this press conference was going to go well because the way Tiger had it constructed, he had it done in such a way in which that the media could not ask questions and the media that was present there were his friends slash his boys so that, you know, they would all write good things about him. In saying that, it put the pressure on Tiger to really come across as genuine, honest, and really hit a lot of checkpoints that it needed to hit with the American community so they could feel that, you know, they could feel what he's saying and he's just not reading it off a piece of paper. I mean, his whole pressure was 15 minutes and I think he did a good job. I mean, who can actually remember 15 minutes of information that all must be hit? in terms of you need to check everything off the checklist so that everybody can know that, okay, there's nothing, there's no stone left unturned. I think he came across honest. I think he explained certain things that he needed to explain regarding did his wife really beat him up and that's why he drove off in the car. Uh, domestic violence within the relationship. Um, people were beginning to say that he was taking performance enhancing drugs. So he hit a lot of that. He admitted to the fact that he's in a, a, a sex addiction clinic. He apologized to everybody that needed an apology. You know, his wife, his kids, his family, his mom, his colleagues, the golf community. So I think he really came across as being honest. And I really think he did a good job of apologizing to not only the children, but the parents of the children that really look up to Tiger so that they can feel comfortable in knowing that, hey, everybody's human and everybody makes mistakes. And that if he's given another chance, that he can prove to everybody that he'll be making the right decisions as well as, you know, doing what he normally does on the golf course. And speaking of which, a lot of Tiger's colleagues throughout this whole week have, you know, really been throwing him under the bus and really putting out a lot of negative energy in terms of why is he talking on Friday as opposed to a Monday. It's going to take all the energy away from the golf tournament. And they've really been, you know, poo-pooing this whole situation. And all I have to say to those guys is just remember, Tiger is the best on the planet when it comes to golf. And you will see Tiger on the golf course. That's it. That, that, that's all that I have for today on Tiger Tiger Woods, y'all. New episode will be coming soon. If you have any questions, comments, or you just like me to, you know, add a couple other things that you like in the show, you know, you know, don't feel scared. You can leave a little comment or a text, or better yet, you know, you can email and leave an email. So, you know, I'm willing and I'm and I'm working to make this show better for us. All right. Have a good day, everybody. Peace.